Okay, so I am rocking and rolling. I am recording, ready to go. So tonight is actually gonna be one of my favorite um, master classes ever. This strategy right here is literally what I base my Facebook ads agency business on. And so basically, this is pretty much as far as any of you guys are probably going to have to go when it comes to marketing your business through Facebook ads. I'm gonna show you guys how, have you ever like visited someone's page or a website and then all of a sudden you're starting to see Facebook ads from them. Maybe you logged into a webinar but you didn't buy the product and they single you out. Hey, saw you on the webinar but you didn't stay till the end. So I'm gonna show you guys this simple technique there's a couple of different ways to do it, but this is the simplest way to do it. And I know a lot of people get freaked out by the whole Facebook pixel, but guys, I'm literally going to start from scratch. I deleted the pixel from my funnel. I restarted my pixel on my, um, my Facebook business page. So I'm literally going to take you guys step by step on how to set this up. So basically the pixel, just for in case, not everyone is, is quite versed in what the Facebook pixel is. So basically the Facebook pixel is a little piece of code that you're going to put on your landing page. You're going to put it on your website. And so Facebook is going to be able to track the people that are coming onto your website and taking certain actions. Okay. Just having the Facebook pixel on your website alone is great. But what I'm going to show you guys to what to do tonight is not only put the Facebook pixel on your website or your landing page, but I'm actually going to show you how to make Facebook track certain actions that people are taking so that you could retarget them. So let's say they visit my landing page, but they don't opt into my offer. I can go ahead and start a retargeting campaign for those people who didn't opt in. I could even retarget people who opted into my offer but didn't book a consulting call. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna, again, I know this is gonna seem very complicated, but I'm breaking it down. I'm gonna do it on my two page funnel just so that we don't get too crazy. And, and like I said, this is probably as far as most of you guys are going to need to go when it comes to Facebook advertising. So we're, we're gonna take it slow and I'm gonna share my screen so that we can get, just jump right into it. Okay, so we're gonna start in the Facebook ads manager. This probably looks very familiar if you guys have set up your Facebook ads account, business manager. Um, to find the pixel, I, all I am, I'm just in this part right here, events manager pixel. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm literally, like I said, we're starting from scratch. And so I'm gonna click set up the pixel. Now, if you have Squarespace, BigCommerce, all of these WooCommerce and many more, you can literally go through the setup method. But what I like to do is just manually install the pixel myself. Um, and literally, this is all it is, is literally I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click this. I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. And that is it. I'm going to take it over to ClickFunnels. Now, if you use WordPress, it's a very similar setup. You're just going to put this in the header. And most programs like WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, all of these types of programs, Online Sales Pro, Lead Pages, they all make it super easy for you to do this. Most of the time, it actually tells you this is where the Facebook pixel goes. Um, or if you've ever installed Google Analytics, it's the, same, it's the same place, it's in the header. And so I am going to install it right here um, into my, I, it's just, this is just like a simple two page funnel. Um, it's just my, my poor man's Facebook ad strategy. All I have is an opt-in page and a thank you page. And so it's just a two step funnel. And so what I'm gonna do, and I am going to, let's see, I'm gonna click edit. Sorry, my internet is a little slow tonight, guys. Either that or Facebook or I don't know what's up tonight. Okay. And so like I said, this is for ClickFunnels, but you can literally, it's literally just this easy. It'll be a tracking code. And look, it just has the header and I literally just go and paste it in there and that's it. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click save. Now, Google has an actual plugin so that you can see it's called the um, Google Pixel Helper, Facebook Pixel Helper right here. And it's just an extension for Google um, Chrome. So if I go to preview this, you can see that, the, that it says that the, fix, that the pixel was installed and look, it fired it. So if you go to Google Chrome, it's called Facebook Pixel Helper. This will tell you if your, um, 
your pixel got installed on the actual um, on your actual website. And so literally, I'm just going to go put it on my two pages. <clears throat> And I'm just going to preview it. And as you can see, it fired it off. So now that that is installed. So now what I'm going to do is now that it's installed, now Facebook is tracking people who have visited both my opt-in page and they are tracking who um, booked, uh, who got onto my thank you page. And so here's the thing. We want to set up events so that I can retarget people. So let's say they come here and they only watch my video and they don't opt into here. I want to be able to retarget those people, right? Or maybe they visited your, you know, like Penny's got her juice cleanse. So maybe they opted in, they, they went to her juice cleanse page, but they didn't opt in. So I'm going to show you guys how to set that up. Is there any questions? Cause I know that we're, uh, this kind of is getting a little technical. Everything is, everything makes sense right now. Hey, Laurel, I have a question. This is Barb. Hey, Barb. Hi, uh, and I, I may have missed you saying this, but do we need to put something on our, on our website that's going to pop up saying, you know, this site has cookies or whatever, or is that something that automatically happens when we install the pixel or what? You're going, you're going to have to um, look at your own websites, like third party cookie policy. That's just something that's going to vary by the website. And that's just something you're going to have to look up just like you, you, you put in your own private policy, Okay. whatever. And, and Facebook in the back end is going to tell you to double check your third party cookies just so that you update your terms of service. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know what third party cookies are. You mean with my hosting or with my what? Yes, I am not the technical person to oh, be okay. explaining that part, but okay. that's something that you're going to have to check with your web with your own website because there's first party cookies and then there's third party cookies, and so that's something that's going to vary between websites. And this is a third party. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mailchimp popped up this afternoon when I finished it. Mail pop because I am I'm collecting emails, but Mailchimp put up a reminder to say that I had to put something at the bottom of the landing page or bottom of the first email to tell, let people know that I am collecting their email. Mm -hmm. And then as the first email came out, cause it actually worked, it shows underneath um, that they have subscribed. If they want to unsubscribe, all that comes up and then they can unsubscribe or whatever. So it is a notice that comes up in MailChimp. Yeah, absolutely. And as you can see right here, like I have this box right here where they have mm -hmm. to check it. This makes me GDRP compliant so that people acknowledge that I have permission to send them this cheat sheet and then others cheat sheet yeah. as well. Um, and so basically now that we've got that taken care of, now what we're going to do is done. Do, do, do. I'm going to close these two. So now what we need to do is now we need to go and set up those events so that we can track both of those actions. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the code for that first opt-in page, right? Because that's my opt-in page. If I, oops. Copy that, right? Because that is my opt-in link there we go so what i'm going to do is the first thing there's a couple this is going to be a couple of steps so right the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and set up custom conversions we're going to create custom conversion so you're going to see this pop up all url traffic url contains okay now i want to track i'm telling facebook that i want to track everyone who has visited this website so i'm just going to put the link right here and so it allows me to name this conversion so 
the reason that it has com contains and equals or doesn't equal is because sometimes it will tag on a unique, like let's say like uh, Melinda, you probably have a special affiliate number that goes along with that. And so if things are unique, you might not want to put the entire um, number just in case it changes by customer. So you'll say URL contains this. And so that, that way it'll track every single person that's coming. ClickFunnels doesn't do that. And so I just put contains that specific link. And so I'm just gonna name it people who visited my landing page. And I'm gonna select a category. Um, they didn't add to wish list. They didn't add to cart, but you could see that you can track whatever you want to track. And this one's just a view content and it doesn't have a value because people didn't buy. So let's say it, this was going to be a purchase. I can put the value of that purchase so that Facebook can track how much I made per, per click. Cool. And so that's our first custom conversion. So now what I have to do next is I'm going to set up the second custom conversion for people who have visited my thank you page, right? Because that means that they opted in to my freebie. So now I'm going to go and put that one in, name my conversion opted <coughs> in to my list. And you can name these, I just named them whatever. Um, select a, this one's going to be lead, right? We created a lead and value still zero. So now Facebook is literally tracking as people are going to visit my landing page. Now, what we wanna do next is we wanna go and create those custom audiences. So next, what we're going to do is we are going to go over here and we are going to go to assets and then we're going to go to audiences. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create audience and I'm going to go to custom audience. This is the same place where you're going to go, you know, like whenever you're targeting people who watch your videos or interact with your Instagram, we're going to go to website traffic. And so I want to track all website visitors. I'm going to say 180 days. I'm going to start tracking that. And then I am going to Let's see, include people who meet any of the audience name, people who visited my website, right? These are all, I'm creating the one, everyone who visited the website. And then I am going to go and create a custom audience again. And then I'm going to say, I want to people who visited specific web pages. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. I need to go back to my opt in page. So now what I'm going to do is I want to target people who, who visited this page. Goodness, why didn't it not copy? My bad. One more time. So I want to target people who visited my opt-in page. and exclude people, right? Because if they got to my thank you page, that means that they opted in. I don't want to include those people who opted in. So I'm gonna go copy this, and I want to exclude people
who visited that page. Right? Does that make sense? They visited, they visited my homepage, but they did not opt in. So visited page, but didn't opt in. So I'm going to create that audience. And then I'm just going to go and create one more audience of the people who did opt in. Oops. There we go. People who opted. Yeah. You know, we're all rewatching this about a million times, right? <laughs> I know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do it right. <laughs> like I'm not even making notes because I already know I'm going to rewatch this like a hundred times. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. And that's the thing. And so now we've got people where we can target people who visited the website. Now we can target people who visited the page, but they didn't opt in. And then we could target people who opted in. Okay, so would you take that information then? Okay, so for let's go with people who didn't opt in. Would you then think to then rebuild another landing page and tweak it a little bit as per the audience? Say, like, does it tell you the age and gender of who didn't opt in and maybe change that accordingly or no? Or is that too specific? No, so basically it's just, yeah, that's a little bit too specific for that. Basically, it's going to retar because, right, if you did your targeting right, Right. In the beginning for the, for the original ad. And so I don't change landing pages or anything. I just get right. people back to it. Like if I, if I tell them like, Oh, Hey, you forgot to sign up for your, you forgot to put your name in for the cheat sheet. I saw you watched my video, but you forgot to pick up your cheat sheet. Come back right. over. It's 100% free, you know? Right. And so like, there's so many different things that you can do. And depending on your mail, your email provider, you could actually create all of these different like, events yep. that people didn't watch the entire webinar like there's so, it's so crazy that you can set up in in um in click funnels and okay. so basically but this is a very basic thing that most of most of you guys won't have to know much more than this right here like this is as complicated as small businesses really need to get right you just need to target people who visited your website you need to target people who have taken action on certain things but didn't take action on other things like this, this is literally the, the, the most sophisticated strategy that you guys are probably ever going to have to deal with. Right. So if we get to a point though, if we have like two different landing pages, like for an example, my juice, my juice challenge, and I wanted to do two different landing pages because I want to see which one's going to push out of my, to my target market. I can then do all of this for each one and then see which one resonates and which one gets the clicks more. Yeah, absolutely. You would want to okay. do it. You would want to do a test run in Facebook ads. Right. Okay. And that's just creating diff that's just creating different ads. Yeah, I just want to clarify. I'm way no I'm, I'm months and months and months away from doing stuff like that, but I just <laughs> want to make sure I can. <laughs> no, absolutely. I know that this part right here is a lot to take in. So we're literally we're literally like I said, just going and getting links of you know, specific actions on your website, and just going tell Facebook, hey, I want people who did this but didn't do that. I want people who didn't do this, but did do that, you know? So can I, okay, so then I can still go, I can still download the pixel and do all this before I push out. Because the only place I've put the landing page for the juice challenge is on our page. Like I can add that in, like find it on MailChimp and then add this, do all this and add it before I push it out. Or no? I'm not sure that you can install a Facebook pixel on MailChimp. Yeah, I didn't see anywhere that I put to, where I could, so I have to check that out first. And if I can, I'm just going to push it out. But yeah, I may have to just break down and get ClickFunnels because it seems to be easier. I would probably for some someone like you that's just starting out because ClickFunnels is a little pricey. Right. Um, just stay. I would recommend. Well, I would recommend something like Lead Pages or Online Sales Pro or something that's a little bit um, base, more basic. Like ClickFunnels, like the it's ninety seven dollars a month. Lead pages is like $37 a month, I believe. Right. right. And you can, you can install the pixel and everything. And that's US, right? Yeah. And online sell, sales pro as well. So currently for their dollars, like $7,000 for me. 
<laughs> Our dollar is awesome right now. <laughs> okay, I, I'll look at this. Does anyone have any questions? Like I said, I know that this was very technical. I don't think until I watch it two more times, I, I will have a question. <laughs> what Laurel, I have. Laurel, did you show where to get the pixel in the beginning and I missed it? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll watch the recording. Yeah, all you, yeah, you just have to go over here and do pixels. Well, thank you for re-showing it. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, absolutely. And then for you, like, since I've already set up the pixel, but for you, it'll say, it'll have a big blue button that says set up the pixel. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. I mean, it is relatively easy-ish. Yeah, I mean, it, to it totally I is. And then every time you want to go, all you have to do is go to the custom convert. Again, it's under events manager, custom conversions. And then like, I'll show you guys like what it, what it looks like. Um, like if I go here and I think that, I think this is what I showed you guys the other day was whenever I was um, targeting people who were donating, but visiting our donate page, but didn't create donations. But once, once you get stuff firing on your pixel, it'll look like this so that when you go to custom conversions, you can literally see like, look, someone clicked the donate button 25 minutes ago. Someone visited our website 52 minutes ago, click to launch a fundraiser 52 minutes ago. Someone made a donation three hours ago. And then you can see conversions in the last seven days, 197 people. Um, let's see, what did they do? They clicked the donate button. 1100 people visited the website in the last seven days. So you'll be able to track everything that's going on once you have the pixel installed. Can you run those for as long as you, like you can run it for an indefinite amount of time or is there a time allotment or? Sorry, my internet was breaking up. What happened? Okay, is there, is, does this just run um, for an unlimited amount of time? Yeah, I've been, yeah, we've been running the, this pixel for a while now for okay. probably ever since the pixel existed. Okay, so I don't have to, like, there's no time value, like a week, a month or whatever it can just be what you want. Exactly. And whenever you go, like, whenever you go in to, um, to your audiences to create the audiences, did you see that it la actually lets you put in a time frame? So if you want to create an audience that have visited your website in the last 365 days, in the last 180 days, in the last... Right. It lets you set okay. it, it such you lets you set a time frame, and so that the pixel is constantly. And that's why I always tell people, even if you're not ready to use the pixel, yep. get the pixel on your website as fast as possible because it, it's already going to start, you know, tracking all of this stuff. Okay. Is the is is it a little less scary now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, especially knowing that I have this to uh, go back and watch uh, two or 3,000 times. <laughs> I'm with Barb about that many times too. <laughs> yeah, and if you guys need any help, I can, I can walk you guys through this. This is literally like one of the things that I give away for free. You know how we talk about the value ladder? For those of you who are running social media marketing agencies, this is a good uh, lead magnet right here to get you in the door to local businesses. Tell them you're gonna go walk in and install this for free for them. And then oh, talk to them about yeah. your sentences. <laughs> cool. Well, I will let that sink in and let you guys watch that a couple of times. <laughs> I know it was kind of a little short class tonight, but I know that that's a lot to take in. Yeah, they don't always have to be an hour. Oh, no. Like yeah. <laughs> a massive amount of value and a massive amount of information in 27 minutes. So. <laughs> I'll say, yeah, that, this is terrific. Thank you. Yeah, no, this is fantastic. Cause then I can, yeah, no, I don't have any more. My brain was used up with my landing page and my email series and everything else. And so... it worked. I figured <laughs> it, out. it connected. <laughs> so, so Laura, Laura, when you say go ahead and set it up on my uh, website, I don't have to go in and set it up with 
you know, page, this page, that page, etc. No, your page, you should be able to install it on the header of your homepage and it'll copy onto the entire website. The header of my homepage. Are you doing, are you doing your own website or do you have a webmaster? I also, uh, yeah, I, I, he's taught me what to do. I've built my okay. website, but he's been showing me what to do. So I can always ask him, yeah. Okay, yeah, make sure that you're, I always like uh, get someone else to install all of this for me. But like I said, get that pixel helper from Google. I actually okay. know where to install that for my website in the header. <laughs> Yay, I know something. I'm so excited. <laughs> Yeah, and so like Barb and Penny and all of you guys that are like going to have different products, you'll be able to set up a custom conversion for each individual product. <gasps> oh, oh my God. So you can track. So you can track all of the products and like Barb, like let's say someone goes to one of your scrapbooking um, courses store, or whatever, yeah, yeah. and they add it to their cart, but they yeah. don't but they don't actually purchase like something happens that oh my god their kids start screaming and they leave it in their cart and then the web page goes bye bye and they're like oh crap you could retarget them in a facebook ad saying hey you forgot you know you left this in the cart yeah come back and buy it <laughs> oh my gosh that's awesome you can do like i set up like i'm um running um ads for a woman who's got a women's safety course and we're tracking everything from people clicking on it to adding it to their cart, to initiating the checkout. Like they put all their info in, they put all their payment info in, but they still didn't click that buy button. So, I mean, there's all these actions that people can, can take on your page that you can track in this custom conversions. Can you, this might be completely different. Can you um, set up um, emails that go out to people? Like for an example, what you just said, Someone goes through, they send out all their info and they don't hit the buy button. Is there a program that would then send them an email to say, Hey, any more questions? What are you looking for? Like, you know what I mean? Like, or is that even worth having or doing? I, let's see, is it convert kit or it's, uh, I'm trying to think of what the name it's, it's all in your, it's not in this it's email. It's in your email software. Okay. Cause you know what I mean, right? Like sometimes people are, I mean, I've done that. Like it's I, I didn't like it's that. tags, it's tags within your email autoresponder. Oh, okay. That you can set up certain tags that work the same way. Okay. I thought that was just me that did that. <laughs> We good to go? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> awesome. Well, cheers, guys. Anyone have any questions for, on anything else before uh, we head out? Not right now, but thank you. Okay, awesome. Well, I guess um, I will not see you guys Friday. I might see you guys Friday. I'm not sure yet, but I'll give you guys an update because I'll be in Orlando um, working with people doing funnels, but I will check in with you guys, though. Are you available tomorrow? Um, I have a very busy day tomorrow. Shoot. Yeah, well, I am well, like not stop tomorrow. I have, I think, client calls and then um, I've got some more whatever I get back from work. <laughs> well, then I better ask you my question now. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can recall that uh, I have a very convoluted ordering thing for my, for my uh, digital products. Mm -hmm. They have to press a button to go to the page to either press another button to order fit, to order them or to make an appointment with me to do it for them. Do you remember? Well, anyway, that's the reminder. Does, do you, does that ring a bell at all? Yeah, because you're using third party stuff, aren't you? Right, right. Mm -hmm. So I could set this up to see if they um, click the button to even start looking into the ordering process, right? Exactly. <clears throat> yeah, because I don't think you're going to be able to track the actual third party stuff. Right. Because it's a third party site. But you will be able to track to see if they initiate going to that third party site. Okay. If I have three different buttons on one page, I can isolate this to each button. Oh, I'm going to call. Oh, God, just a minute. Sorry. Okay, I'm back. Anyway. Um, how would I, how would I track? See, the thing is, is if you, you can only track up to what's on your website, you can't track 
the third party site. So oh, you I know, I know. But, 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 if the, got... but if you have three different buttons on your page and all three of those buttons go off of your site, you can't track any of those clicks. Okay, but if, I, if I've got, um, okay, if they go off of the site. If I've got a button that says uh, click here to either, either click here to make an appointment with me for me to do the ordering for you or this other button to click to get the directions to do your own ordering. Those buttons mm -hmm. that don't go off could be tracked. Yes, as long as they, as long as that that form and the other thing is on your is hosted on your website. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. Okay, and so when I rewatch this, I'm going to understand how to do that with multiple buttons on one page, right? Yeah, because all you have to do is go and get the links that those pages go to. Okay. 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 Does that, and make, like, does that make sense? Do I need to go over that part again? Um, I mean, that's, that's okay if we do. Yes, please. Thank you. I'm sorry. You were almost home free. <laughs> well, so you just go to like, again, custom, create audience. Shh. And so website traffic. Yep. Okay, so you want to go to people who visit specific page. Okay. Right. Yeah. So they went to your page, right? This is the page that they that has the buttons goes here, right? Right. Okay. So then you would click right here where it says exclude. And then you're going to go to people who visited specific pages again. And so basically this is the page, this is the page that they, that has the button that has the two buttons on it. And then one of the pages with the button that go, that the button goes to goes here. And Got then it. so you would do this for each one. Okay. Okay. Right? Thank because, you. This one, because they visited this, but they didn't visit this. Got it. Okay. Thank you. That's great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Not a Okay. Yeah. I need to do this like uh, right away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like seriously, pour yourself a glass of wine and expect to be like on the, doing this for like two hours the first time. <laughs> Cheers, Penny. After my landing page uh, thing, I, I got I deserve a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Barb, is there is there a baby yet? There isn't, and she's. You know, I was a doula and I, I've, I've been telling them, you know, babies just have a mind of their own. <laughs> um, just be patient. But even I'm over here going, there's all these things I didn't do this past weekend just because I was on call. And it's like, oh, <laughs> one was a major, major client. Um, it was a vendor fair where I've gotten 40 to 50 people at a time standing in line wanting, wanting my information. So <laughs> it, it hurt that I couldn't participate this year. Wow. Tell them to go to the no. movies. Every time you go out in public at late at night, for sure she's going to go into labor. <laughs> I, I really told her I should have sacrificed and I should have done that vendor fair or gone to that training in LA I wanted to go to. You know, because <laughs> for sure... They would have, they would have had the baby. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Thanks, thanks for right. asking. Yeah, no, of course. I was wondering, I, I kept thinking about you. I was like, oh, I wonder if there's a baby yet. <laughs> Maybe if I actually do a Facebook live, it'll happen in the middle. <laughs> Wait, I gotta go guys. Bye. <laughs> That's usually Kimberly. Kimberly has been quiet. You do this for a living. Did you? Have you, have you done this process yet? Oh, we are. I'm she... really bad at finding the unmute button. I do, but my biggest problem is that when I set up my client pages, I didn't do what you told me to do because I didn't have you in my life yet. So I don't have it set up as ad accounts. So I've got them divided out on business manager. Oh, that's fine. I've got business manager. That's how I do mine. Okay. That's what, that's just, what this is. It's all that what, I, what you just saw. That's business manager. Yeah. So that's been my biggest thing is ever since you told me this the other day about dividing them out, I've gone through and moved all of them over to business manager because oh, I, didn't awesome. have, 
I didn't have all of them. So I was nervous about business manager. It just Oh, it makes it life so much easier. But they say, once you go over, you can never come back. And I don't like the fi- how final that is. <laughs> but now that I'm there, it's good. And so that's been my first step was getting everybody moved over. So yes, I've had one main account that I always run a pixel on, but now I've got to set up the rest of them. And yes. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the things is, is like, as long as all you have the same account and it doesn't like branch out to different things. So you can have the same pixel because <laughs> some people yes. have like totally different products and they have the same pixel on and I'm like and they have like a general store and I'm like no <laughs> you'll need a different pixel for everything <laughs> yes. like I like my like my coaching business and my agency two separate ad accounts so that I can have separate pixels yes because I don't want my small business owners getting marketed to my coaching stuff and vice versa right. yes so that's the hardest part is there's just a lot of pixels to make for everybody a lot of pixels to set up for everybody yeah it's a process but it's totally it's whole it's totally worth it because you only have to do it once yes <laughs> awesome i think i asked everyone how i don't kim you snuck in on us hi yeah i did mm. i was on a call sorry i was making some money that's <laughs> hey that's a, that's good i'm uh expecting big wins this week <laughs> right exactly well, you, you've, got, you've got a lot to catch up on. I do. I know. I don't even know what a pixel is, so I really need to go study. That's good. I actually, I actually explained what the pixel is and where to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew someone was going to need that information. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, you guys have an amazing night. I will catch up with you guys um, sometime this week. Um, like I said, tentatively, we might have the call on Friday, depending on, um, but I'll be on East Coast time, so. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated. And if we need <laughs> Penny, but if we need to check, do a check in on sometime sometime on Friday, that's fine. I'm totally okay with that. Um, so, but I will definitely uh, catch up with all of you. Cool. All right. Sounds okay. good. Thank awesome. you. Good night. Good night, guys.